and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing Tesla. Tesla was the biggest option of the week last week. So I had called two trades in it, but I want to specifically talk about the one trade that I called that wasn't going anywhere, wasn't going anywhere, was flat, up a little, down, and then it dropped the day before the expiration. And this is really uh, something that is probably going to continue to happen, meaning things fake a certain direction and then they go in the direction you think they're going to go to begin with anyways which is which which is me again i knew tesla was lower i talked about it, i talked about it, talked about it thursday morning which was the ninth so i called the 215 puts okay earlier in the week they didn't go until the the, the thursday and you still actually could have been in them friday Friday's low was 205 and changed, but I got out of them Thursday, but but you could have still been in on Friday, actually. Anyways, the trade went here. Was it too late? No, it wasn't too late. It's a beautiful trade. Again, low on this day was 206 and change, but it ended up going almost 10 points for the strike on the very last day and almost here even, but this was where all the money was. This was the momentum. So a lot of people, when they're doing options, again, I had called the 215 puts in Tesla, but a lot of people, when they're doing options, they are worried about things that they shouldn't be worried about. <laughs> so when that happens, either A, they don't know how to take the option, they, they're unsure of the direction, whether to do a call or a put, or they are oversized, oversized in the trade, and, and really, that's, that's because they're, they're probably really unsure of themselves, too. So the best thing that you can do is to make money in options. Again, this is the way that I play it. I'm looking to trade the momentum. So I'm waiting for the momentum to come in. The momentum could come in the last day. While, while I prefer, you know, every trade I take to go the second that I take it, that's not always the case. And the point I was trying to get at earlier was, this is what you could see a lot more of going into the end of this year and even in 2024 because you better be sure of yourself when you're taking a trade and if you're not again you follow me because i'm sure of myself all the time when i take something again win or lose i'm sure of myself it doesn't mean that every trade i take works some trades i take lose but far more trades that i take are winners than losers and again i'm sure of myself because i've rated the gap using my 26 point rating system but again, I was so sure about Tesla. I talked about it, talked about it, talked about it every single day last week I talked about it. And then on Thursday morning, I said, this is it. Today is the day. Tesla's going to fall off a cliff. Tesla's going to tank. Today, today, today. I said it in the room in the morning before the open and then in the morning. And then it tanked. And then it absolutely tanked. And it went on Thursday into Friday. But this is really what you're going to see into 2024. You're going to see many, many things fake out or look like they're going to do something and not, or whatever the case may be, or you may be waiting on a trade to go, and then whoop, and then it goes in your direction or it goes against you. Again, you may, like people are going along this today. Again, we'll see where this goes today. Again, this is a lot depending on the market today. Let's just see where we are right now at 1230. But um, volatility is good with options and too many people when they're trading options are not focused enough on momentum when i take an options trade i'm not trying to make five cents ten cents 25 cents unless i paid 50 cents and i want to make 50 percent and i want to get out and make 25 cents typically i'm trading options to make five dollars ten dollars a move similar to tesla where i'll buy a 215 put and i'm looking to get it to 210 208 205 so I want big moves. I want momentum. That's how you can make money trading options. Yes, you have to get in the right direction. And yes, you have to get the timing right. But that's the case in every trade. That's the case in every trade. The whole reason that people love to trade options with me is because I'm calling such huge trades like Tesla, where you get this massive amount of momentum that comes in. That's all the profit. That's all the money. That trade was up prior to that day, if you had gotten out of it one of the earlier days, but it wasn't where the big trade was. The big trade was the sell-off that happened. Again, we were in puts on the Thursday and then the drop into Friday, but again, I got on the Thursday. Just looking at the market. It's just, the market looks dead right now. There's just no volume in this market today. Anyways, this was the biggest trade last week on the options news. I know we had a light week. We had a light week, but just, you know, again, 
you can make money trading options if you trade momentum, if you know how to find momentum and spot momentum. So people say, how do you know to do options? I'm using my same system. It's the golden gap system. That's how I'm making the picks like Tesla. That's how I knew Tesla would drop. And I knew it would do it soon. Soon meaning last week, in a couple of days, soon. Soon means fast. May not be the day that I call it, even though I love when that happens, but soon is soon, not 10 years from now or five weeks from now or next year in 2024. Again, one of the reasons I don't do long-term options, which is called leaps, is because you pay up so much for those. And if you can't predict efficiently that somebody's gonna drop quickly, how can you predict where it's gonna be six months from now? Again, I've used this uh, analogy all the time where I say, you can probably tell me what you're gonna make for dinner tonight or even what time you're gonna eat dinner tonight. If I ask you what time you're gonna eat dinner next Monday and what are you gonna make for dinner next Monday, you have no idea. So it's a lot easier to determine where something's gonna go soon, within one week, than it is farther out, when there's many other variables, many other things could affect the overall market or the stock that you're in. So anyways, Tesla was the biggest option last week. It was volatile because, again, it faint like it was higher, and then it fell off a cliff. It was a great call, it was a great call. So uh, we'll see what happens with this this week. Again, this is at the mercy of the market right now here today, but you can even see how low the volume is in the market. That's Tesla. That's the Qs. Look at that. There's more volume in Tesla right now than there is in the overall market. This market is dead. Dead as a doornail today. But we'll see where it goes tomorrow. Big number out tomorrow morning. If you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter and getting some nice option calls, beautiful calls, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. No prerequisites. I have a six-month subscription, a 12-month subscription, and no trials. Go to the website and check it out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.